For most of us, the natural world remains mysteriously chaotic and unpredictable. Nevertheless, environmental monitoring organizations are expected to gather, analyze and distribute data quicker, smarter and in more efficient ways. The right choice of technology can help these organizations meet and exceed expectations. In Christchurch, New Zealand, the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research decided to test BGAN M2M to see how it worked with their data collection systems. The affordability of it, uh, the, the capabilities of it, the reliable performance that it seems to actually bring. This technology is empowering and it has enabled us to consider changes to the way we undertake our work. BGAN M2M from Inmarsat is a two-way IP data service designed for machine-to-machine -machine management of fixed assets. Using Inmarsat's global satellite network, it provides a reliable, always-on connection between machines and easily integrates with existing and bespoke applications. OK, what we have here is a weather station that we're pre-testing for out in the field. Um, so this one's going to measure wind speed and direction, barometric pressure, air temperature, humidity, um, leaf wetness, soil moisture, rainfall, um, earth temperatures at four depths. So it's going to be a typical weather station that we have um, out in the field. All the, the signal from all the cabling from all the sensors comes into a termination box here. The signal comes across from the logger. Um, and at the moment we're going to be sampling the data every, every three seconds and then we're going to convert it into one minute or ten minute data. Um, and we're going to log it every 10 minutes and transmit it every 10 minutes or hourly depending on the need from that particular location. Um, so it comes out from the data logger and through here to the satellite terminal. So this is the modem for the terminal here and then off up to the, um, off to the satellite. Um, the data from there will then go through to um, the NEON server and then we can view that wherever, however and whenever. BGAN M2M was supplied to NIWA by Inmarsat's global distribution partner, TC Communications. So in environmental monitoring, it's a, it's a big scale issue. You can't simply uh, take measurements from a couple of little sites. You need wide scale information. And so the customers are looking for the ability to reach out, get the same sort of connection no matter where they want to put a sensor. And we're talking about sensors in the middle of the ocean, in the middle of land, large land masses, when we talk about things like big M2M, we're talking about an, an always-on IP service, effectively like the same Ethernet connection that your computer gets when it plugs into the wall at home or in the office. And they're the sorts of things that the, today's environmental scientists with access to much more computing power need access to. They need more constant streams of information and the ability to reach out and, and dig into uh, their sensor data that bit more deeply. Many of the attributes of the BGAN system were the sorts of, uh, of attributes that we felt were missing in the data collection systems that we actually have and operate around the place. Historically there has been uh, instances where we have had to compromise the location at which we may undertake monitoring because one of the criteria we've had to satisfy is available access or affordable access to communications to enable those data to be used in a timely fashion at one of our more remote sites where we've stretched the, the current terrestrial based communications to the point where it really is um, it's not providing the reliability that we require. We're looking there to, to upgrade the existing systems and replace them with uh, big and M2M terminals. Reliability is just one of the things that sets BGAN M2M apart from other solutions. Inmarsat has a 99.9% .9 availability of their satellite and ground network. And because BGAN M2M works on an L-band spectrum, BGAN M2M works whatever the weather. When we were testing the BGAN terminals uh, that were subsequently deployed out to Fiji, uh, we had them out on the test lawn out the back making sure that they were all working. And uh, just while they were out there we had a big snowstorm come through. Uh, which was a good test of the system and uh, uh, the great news about all of that was all the devices worked perfectly and didn't miss any reports and uh, that gave us great confidence uh, that those sort of conditions weren't going to cause this problem when we use them in the future. Reliability and durability are mandatories for organisations such as NIWA. But there are other practical considerations to keep in mind as well. 
What we like about the big and M2M terminals is their size and also their low power consumption, um, both from a um, cost as well as convenience. Um, we can now leave the terminals powered on for 24 hours a day and reduce the size of our solar panels. Um, this also has practical implications in the windage um, and the strains on the mast that we have, um, which is also very important for some of the locations that we're putting these stations. Perth-based firm Unidata introduced NIWA to BGAN M2M. Leaders in the field of telemetry, they know the importance of easy installation and easy integration. BGAN M2M was very easy to integrate. Um, connection to our Unidata hardware is very straightforward, one simple Ethernet cable. The unit was very easy to configure using an internet browser, um, no special software was needed. The wide variety of menu options meant that interfacing from an IP point of view was very easy. Um, the whole experience is very straightforward. Bidirectional IP communications means organisations such as NIWA now have the potential to access almost any data on a global scale at any time. For the National Institute of Water and Atmospheric Research, BGAN M2M provides an affordable, always-on service, which could radically change the way they monitor the environment. The benefit of that is that their customers get the most accurate, most reliable and the most up-to-date information available. So as a result of the trial, uh, the NIWA team were quite impressed with the, the, the connectivity, this always on IP connectivity. Often with these sorts of technologies, there can be quite a, a long time frame between that step from uh, test to real adoption, but this time around we're not seeing that. There's been uh, a reasonably fast uh, uptake in getting some commercial uh, services in place to actually use the technology and, and gain even better understanding of it. I, I said to a colleagues of mine that I, I felt that the, uh, the arrival of the, the big and M to M satellite services um, is very empowering and, and very enabling to us and, and, and uh, I described it as uh, a, a, a bird in the sky is worth 10 in the bush uh, with regards to, uh, to having uh, access to reliable and accessible communications. Environmental data can be unpredictable and ever-changing. But BGAN M2M has made sure obtaining and responding to that data is a certainty.